All right, welcome everybody. Today we are going to continue our exploration of flow and the conditions of flow. My name is Nick Redmark. I'm a coach engineer, which means I explore the problems of personal development with an engineering mindset and I develop or find tools for you that I bring to you on a daily basis, or at least that's the goal. Now, last time we talked about the characteristics of flow experiences. For a task to induce flow, it needs to have a clear attainable goal and you need to be able to concentrate fully on it and the activity needs to provide immediate feedback. Now, what kind of activities generate flow? I would say there are three main categories. One is it could happen by chance, which is quite rarely. Most often it happens through structured activities, games and uh, rituals like religious rituals. And then finally, it happens through conscious effort, um, which is something that requires skill. And I would call this autotelism. And this term comes from autotelic personality, which is something that we're going to talk about in a moment. Now, there are many things that can affect our capacity to experience flow from our largest environment to our most personal circumstances, from culture to family, to your own personality that you were born with, to your personal skill that you can shape. Culture can move on a continuum and on one side it can generate anomie. What this basically means is a lack of meaning or direction, a fragmentation of meaning. So if the culture has no guidelines regarding to what is good and what is worth pursuing, it generates anomie. On the other hand, you can have a culture that tells you what to do in a way that doesn't align with your own purpose. And what this generates is alienation. So you cannot focus on what is actually meaningful to you. This is what is generated by slavery, exploitation, and all these things that we are trying to overcome. At its optimum, what the culture creates is a kind of a great game. Culture gives you guidelines about how to behave in most circumstances, what should be done when someone is born, how to engage a long-term relationship, dying, career, everything. If your culture manages to kind of create a framework that creates order in people's lives, then it will maximize people's capacity to experience flow. Now, this book was written in 1990. Csikszentmihalyi's observations about American culture are a bit out of date, but the core concept is still the same. What characterizes American culture is actually a big amount of time that people can dedicate to leisure, about 20 hours a week. The problem is that most time was spent on TV, perhaps today time is spent more on social media, but the problem is that, and this is the big paradox of, of this culture, which, I mean, I'm, I'm Swiss, so I don't belong to American culture, but the situation here is quite similar. What happens is that despite the opportunity for engagement, flow is pretty rare. For example, watching TV is characterized as less enjoyable than work. And this is a big paradox. Now, families can also have an impact on your capacity to experience flow. And there are a number of criteria that parents can pay attention to to maximize the child's capacity to experience flow. On one hand, it has to be clear uh, what the expectations are from the parent. On the other hand, parents should kind of take off pressure about the future and about expectations about the future so that the child can focus on being engaged in the present. Another aspect is choice. Children need to have the feeling that they can choose and face the consequences if they, if they choose to. The fourth element is commitment, meaning they need to feel the trust from their parents so that they can fully engage in something in without self-consciousness. And finally, parents need to be there to provide a continuous challenge so that uh, there is always an opportunity for growth. Now let's talk about personality. Personality too works on a continuum and this is something we are born with to a certain degree. Some people experience something called stimulus over inclusion, meaning they cannot decide what they pay attention to. In the extreme case, this would be schizophrenia. So people who suffer from schizophrenia cannot choose what they pay attention to. They have to pay attention to everything and this generates anxiety. And in general, this is the area of attentional disorders. On the other hand, you can also be too rigid. You can be too uh, focused on yourself. And the problem with this is that you cannot grow because you're already focused on 
the goals that you have so much that there is no possibility to actually expand in your growth and to become more sophisticated. The optimum personality is something that happens more or less in the middle. It's called autotelic personality. Autotelic means something that has a meaning on its own that is not dependent on anything else. And an autotelic personality is a personality that manages to live experiences that way. And obviously you cannot control what kind of environment you grew up, your culture, your family, and even your personality. But what you can do is learn the skill. What do we mean by that? You need to learn to control consciousness so that you can generate engagement. And there really is good news. People in all circumstances, from the most extreme that you can imagine to the most mundane and boring situations, have been able to generate flow. And so there is the capacity that you can train to generate flow from any situation. And it basically looks like that. You have to pay close attention to your environment and discover opportunities for action. And then once you discover them, you set yourself a goal, a goal that you can measure, where you can see that you're making progress. And then once you achieve that goal, you basically up the ante, set a higher goal, and you can engage yourself forever that way, basically. So if I may use a Pertussonian concept, it all boils down to meaningful, focused engagement. That's it for today. Next time we are going to explore even more all the aspects of life that you can harness to generate flow. Since YouTube doesn't always show this video to the people who subscribe, if you subscribe, also push the bell so that you get a notification when I publish something. Thank you very much and see you next time.